Hi guys, my name is Ellen and this is a tarot reading for Cancer for December. And let's see what energy is going to be around in December. Uh, first card for Cancer. Ah, Four of Swords. Uh, Four of Swords card will say that you will need to take a break. You need to talk, take a pause. You need to get some rest. Um, if not, uh, you feel like you overloaded, so you need to say take some um, some time to recharge, to relax, to take a break. Um, this card will say also um, don't rush. You might need to use this time to uh, put your thoughts together. Uh, how to? move on um, in the future, what steps to take. Um, this card uh, will say that you are going to be feeling quite stable, but mm, like I said, it's uh, like paused or stuck in some situation. The universe will, if you don't take the break, if you're not going to take it easy, the universe will do it for you. And in worst case scenario that you might be uh, Capricious with your health and <clears throat> be isolated, maybe, I don't know, taken to be in hospital or just at home, isolated from everybody to get rest, to get better. Um, so it's best to do it um, on your own before you get unwell. Just take a bit easy and rest a bit more. Let's see what else. The Temperance. And this is a high rank card. <clears throat> and Temperance is card of balance. And as you see the Temperance is not rushing. So definitely you need to just uh, step back and watch and relax and uh, give control and just go with the flow um, because everything is under control uh, of the universe of the angels they working on uh, what matters in your life right now so nothing in the in this situation nothing really depends um, from you you are helpless anyway because like i said our angels are working hard uh, they are in control and they know what is best for you they so you just need to step back relax and wait and like I said go with the flow because here everything is under control everything is in balance um, everything goes as it should be because uh, universe knows what is best for us um, everything will go on in happens in their own time in, in its own phase and like I said, nothing you can really do about it. You Maybe you would like to some things to move faster, but it's not up to you. So just um, be a spectator. This is part of uh, optimis optimistic uh, situations, how everything will go. Like I said, everything goes well, everything goes to plan. Um, stability um, and balance in your relationship and like I said every other situation is taken care of you just need to uh, trust to the universe let's see what next uh, six of swords uh, six of Swords is um, if here you've been in in um, in some pause in the waiting to some situation to be resolved. Uh, this card will say that um, if you have been in some difficult situation, you moving away from from that for the better. Um, this is a card of change, changes for the better. Um, 
this is card um, of progress, card that things are moving uh, on the move. If you are, I don't know, waiting for some sort of results from anywhere, so be be sure that it's on the, it's on the way, it's on the move. Uh, if you have been stuck in some situation or if you have been unwell, um, again, this card represents everything goes for the better. You might feel um, better. You are moving to towards a better life if you have been in some sort of a crisis. Um, this is card of also of a card of development, uh, like I said, moving forward. Uh, this card also will say that it's possible that you might uh, relocate, you might move house um, or might relocate because of new work uh, work relations. So move house, move country um, or go uh, for short traveling, maybe not too far away. So, but you gonna um, come out of this um, stagnation and gonna be on the move. So let's see what else. What else for you, Cancer? Uh, three of Cups. The great card, card of celebration. Maybe you, like I said, this is card of a progress, and maybe you're gonna celebrate this new progress, this new achievement. Um, you gonna, you might be celebrate with um, with your friends, uh, with your girlfriends. Um, people are gonna be um, really happy for you. So it's a uh, gathering with the friends, or maybe. Well, it's a uh, new year, it's Christmas, maybe you're going to be spending um, with some company. Let's see. What else? Uh, King of Cups. King of Cups, it could be a person um, in your life, could be your boss could be your father um a person with a, some higher status higher rank that be in will be in your life um or you might seek his advice or his um, his wisdom or his uh professional um Opinion or advice again. This person could be a uh, sign of pieces. So we'll see what else. And <laughs> six of swords. The card repeats herself, but uh, look how it's. Um, what the difference is. Uh, yeah, like I said, card of progress, uh, card of moving from one shore to a better to the to the next shore. So uh, it's unknown, but it's definitely for the better. Like I said, you might even have some short uh, trip somewhere. Or maybe this person will give you some some news that you're gonna have to be on the move. Uh, but again, it's all uh, for the better. So let's see what else. Uh, high rank, the high priests. Priestess. Um, the High Priestess card will say, listen to your intuition, 
uh, be alerted. Uh, some hidden secret might be uh, coming out. Something was hidden from you. And it will be out. So uh, listen inside of, of yourself. Uh, this card also say that um, possible uh, pregnancy on, on the way. Maybe you don't know about it. Um, or maybe you will hear that somebody in your surrounding will be pregnant. Or you will be getting a, a secret. Uh, one more card is uh, Five of Pentacles. Uh, five of Pentacles uh, will say this. It could be um, money issues. And with your resources, um, like I said, on decline, if you, that's, this is if you don't take this break, probably, because this is, can represent our health as well. You might feel you might feel unwell, and here this card indicates uh, very well that yeah, listen to your intuition when you feel that you need to take a break, that you need to take it easy. Please do it because otherwise you end up here. Um, uh, here we universal puts us. We need to take this as a lesson and learn from it and think what did I, where did I go wrong, what did I do uh, uh, wrong, so the, I am end up in here. Like I said, it's um, two advices, uh, judging by your reading so far, it's like I said, take a break, take it easy. Um, and another one, usually universe put us, when we are too focused on material things and we forgot about something that is much more important it's about um spiritual world spiritual um spirit inside us when we're too focused about uh, on money um the universe will put us and give us a lesson uh, showing us that actually um this is not what is more to, uh, to show us what to understand, to make us understand what that is actually is not um, material world, is not as important as we uh, make of it. So, let's see what else. Two of Wands. Two of Wands, card of choice, uh, card of um, requires to make your decision that you're going to be put in a position where you need to uh, make this decision. And here you're going to feel like you are in the middle of the road and you have two ways, uh, two directions to go. And you're standing in the middle. And here you even see the person holds the whole globe, the whole world in his hands. So that means all the paths, all of the um, roads are open, but it's up to you which one you're going to take, uh, what you're going to choose. You still need to choose your, your way. Um, also, this is uh, could be situation when you are in between two, maybe two offers of uh, work wise. Maybe you're gonna be um, offered. Maybe you're gonna be between two jobs if you are looking for a job. Uh, maybe you're gonna be. Um, uh, choosing, I don't know, if you decided to go to study. Again, maybe you will decide what university to go to, or what um, what profession to take. 
So again, mm, here you will need to make a decision. Um, here you are your own. You are in, in control in which direction your life will go. Basically. Uh, well, we'll see what else. But it's uh, good because uh, after you've been put in this um, some form of struggle, you will decide no. Because here you're going to be definitely on the move. Uh, you will decide no. I need to come out of this. Uh, what should I do? So we'll see what. What would you do? <laughs> what will you do? And here, uh, Six of Pentacles. So here, this card, this, you're going to be out of this crisis. Or like I said, if you have been in crisis and you have been unwell. So we have two Six of Swords uh, before that indicates that you're going to be out of this. And um, Six of Pentacles will say that as well, that... Money-wise, you're going to be fine. You're going to be um, in the right balance. Everything going to be right, uh, balanced well. So, uh, this card will say, is what you give, that's what you get. If So, if all resources in your life you're balancing in correct correct way, um, do it everything right, uh, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be absolutely fine. This card also indicates um, help people in need if you can, if you're in this position. Um, and so it's a good time to do any charity work. Um, if you can, if you cannot help uh, financially, help with your time, your advice in any other way, if anybody asking, or offer them a help, a helping hand in any way you can. Uh, because it's always going to be rewarded um, with the universe. Um, of course, we're not. If you're helping, do always with the open heart, uh, not uh, waiting for a reward back. But it's always beneficial. So let's see what else. But. Um, Oh, the card jumped out, and card uh, is death, high rank card, death, card of uh, transformation, card of, um, could be card of fears, but uh, looking on your, um, your cards, you're not going to have fears, you're going to be on the move uh, quite active, um, not gonna stand still for long, even if you should, for, uh, to relocate your your thoughts on what direction to take. So this card of transformation, it could be inner transformation, you might um, change the way you, you think, the way you see the world, the, the you approach things. Um, well, death is, of course, uh, not physical death, so it's nothing to worry about. But death uh, is also... Um, everything is old and is not... Um, it's not working. Uh, like I said, maybe you'll change how you uh, looking towards this, this world. Um, everything around you, you will change perception of it. You will change how you see it what you think about it and also you might want to change your look your appearance how other people see you maybe you will decide to change your style maybe you change your, your hair um, so it can be any kind of a transformation or maybe this um this moves will will change you uh change 
uh, your thoughts, what's important in life. Let's see. Uh, seven of Cups. Seven Cups will say that um, it may be, you, you might be surrounded by many temptations, um, but by many offerings, and um, you don't know what to choose. You you want everything at once. Um, but here, as advice, you need to stop and think for for a bit and focus uh, on what you want, what you want to achieve, because otherwise you have um, you can be stuck in pink clouds. You might be stuck in fantasy world. Um, you might be puzzled about that. So, because you want everything um, at once. Um, that's usually um, hard to achieve. Um, better to be sure what you want. Um, so, make your priorities right. So, better you get... The, be ambitious is great, but it's good to have do to achieve your things one step at a time not a bit here a bit there a bit here a bit there. you have um uh, you have possibility not finish any of those uh things that you started <laughs> so you better take step by step you start one thing you finished you move on to the next one otherwise you might be uh on the go too many things and that you don't have time for to finish them all and um, you're going to be absolutely disappointed. So let's ask the Angel Oracle about advice. Reward yourself. <laughs> Yes, maybe it looks like you're going to be busy, <laughs> so it's a good advice. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Make, make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood and motivation and consistently high level. Uh, it's a great message. Like I said... Uh, <laughs> indicates very much on this card. Yes, you reward yourself, but just uh, be sure you know what you, what you want. And ask Nature Oracle. Let's see. Show your support. Yes, like again, indicates um, mm, reflects with our reading so far, uh, show your support in any way you can to people who might seek your help, your advice, or your loved ones, people around you. If you see you can, you're able to help, you can always offer that. <clears throat> okay, I hope you enjoy your reading. I wish you all the best. Please like, subscribe, and leave any comments, and I'll see you next time.